this is Appa Brian and Appa Baseball Classics bringing to you the final game of the Game Winning Drive Project 1969 Single Elimination Tournament. This is the Super Bowl. Minnesota Vikings are at the New York Jets. The game is being played in New Orleans at the Tulane Stadium. Neither team returned a kickoff for a touchdown or a punt return for a touchdown, so we'll go straight to the drives. The New York Jets and Joe Namath will take over on offense. On offense, the Jets have Joe Namath, Emerson Boozer, and Matt Snell, the running backs, Don Maynard, George Sauer, and Pete Lammons, the receivers. The offensive line is Winston Hill, Randy Rasmussen, John Schmidt, Dave Herman, and Roger Finney. Here's the first drive of the game. 3-4 is outside of the scoring range, and 52 is a punt for the first drive of the Jets. We use three red die for the clock, subtract the highest and the lowest, three minutes off the clock, 12 minutes to play. In this game, if all three dice are rolled the same, say I get two, 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 we're going to make that a six minute drive rather than less than a minute drive. Um, because there are six and seven minute drives in the NFL. I know the Chiefs Cleveland game, there are at least two or three. The first drive for Cleveland was seven minutes and the first drive in the th Third quarter for Kansas City was seven minutes. So if we get three of the same dice, that'll be a seven minute drive or six minute drive. Minnesota's offense will come onto the field for the first time. They have Joe Cap at quarterback. Dave Osborne and Bill Brown are the running backs. John Henderson, Gene Washington, John Beasley are the receivers. Offensive line is Grady Alderman, Jim Vallone, Mick Tinglehoff, Milt Sunday, and Doug Davis. Here's the Vikings' first drive. 2-2 two -two roll is a scoring drive, and 23 is a field goal by Fred Cox. 3-0 Minnesota. Time off the clock was 4 minutes. We're down to 8 minutes in the first period. Joe Lambeth and the Jets offense comes back onto the field. Defensive starters for a much heralded Purple People Leader defense for Minnesota are the defensive ends are Jim Marshall and Carl Eller, Larry, Gary Larson, and Alan Page with the tackles. Roy Reston, Lonnie Warwick, Wally Hilgenberg, and Ursel McVey are the linebackers. Bobby Bryant, Carl Kosucki, Carl Kosucki, and Paul Krause, the secondary. That defensive line and that secondary are two of the best units in the NFL. 43, too high for Joe Namath and the Jets to score. And 66 is a field goal attempt by Jim Turner, but it goes wide, no good. Time off the clock is four minutes. Four minutes playing the first quarter. Minnesota takes over. So I think each time we change, let's see, this will be the offensive numbers for Minnesota. This is the defensive numbers for New York before the modifications are applied. Negative one defensive adjustment off Minnesota, 11 through 34. And it's a 63 non-scoring drive. And 61 is a pump by the Vikings. Time off the clock is that's a six minute drive, the first six minute drive we've had. So we go two minutes into the second period. Still three nothing Minnesota. Now the Jets offense takes over. This is the biggest defensive adjustment in the league in 1969, negative five for Minnesota off of New York. It counts down five off 34, 30, 33, 32, 31, and then 26, 25. We're using uh, six base dice. New York's ball, second quarter. 44, too high to score. 15 is a punt, almost a fumble. Hard-hitting defense for the Vikings. 
two minutes off the clock, 11 minutes to play. Here comes Joe Cap and the Viking offense. 36 is too high to score. 25. Punt. And the time off the clock is four minutes, seven minutes to play in the half. Joe Namath and the Jets looking for answers come back out on the field. 41, too high. 34 is a pass interception. 11 to 13 will return, and 21 is not a return for a touchdown. One minute off the clock, six minutes to go. Now, Minnesota on offense will have a short field. So with that, it goes 11 through 35, 11 through 45, 11 through 44 with the defensive adjustment. Big opportunity for the Vikings, 65, they don't take advantage of it. And 55 is a punt. Time off the clock is five minutes, one minute to play in the half. Joe Namath and his offense comes back on the field. They have been, done nothing against this Minnesota defense. 55 is a non-scoring drive, and 62 is a putt. Probably likely the clock will run out. And two minutes go by. That's a halftime. The score of the first half of the Super Bowl IV is Vikings 3 and the Jets nothing. All right, Minnesota will be in the visiting team. We'll take over in the start of the third quarter. Here we go, third quarter. And 55 is too high to score. 13 is going to be a Vikings fumble. First turnover for the Vikings. The Jets have had one, an interception. There is no chance for a fumble return touchdown. Time off the clock is three minutes, 12 minutes to play in the third period. Jets offense takes the field. 61 is a too high to score. 62 is a punt. Clock roll is two minutes off the clock, 10 minutes to play in the third period. Three and out for the New York Jets. Vikings offense comes on to the field. 21 is a score and 1-1 one -one is a touchdown run for the Minnesota Vikings. Figure out who, who did that touchdown run. We'll need a 20-sided die which I forgot to bring to the table. Hold on just a second. Actually, it's a 12-sided die to determine who ran for the touchdown. And so that's this one here. One is Dave Osborne with the touchdown run. Extra point are good. They hit all their extra points. It's 10-0 Vikings. In the third period, the time of the drive was six minutes. Four minutes to play in the third quarter. Jets down by two scores. Here's their roll. Too high to score. 31 is a punt. And the time of the drive. Three minutes. One minute to play in the third quarter. Vikings offense takes over up by two scores. 31 is a scoring drive for the Vikings, and 55 is a touchdown pass right on the upper edge. Joe Cap to 
Let's see, that will be a, that is a 20-sided die. Joe Cap to nine is Gene Washington. Extra point is away and good. 17 to nothing. Minnesota Vikings dominating in the Super Bowl. Three minutes off the clock. We go two minutes into the fourth quarter. Let's see. In the third quarter, there was a touchdown by the Vikings, nothing by the Jets. And now another touchdown by the Vikings as we're into the fourth quarter. It's critical that the, Vi that the Jets do something on this drive. Here's the roll. 54 too high. And 44 is a pass interception. Not returned for a touchdown. And the time on the clock is just one minute. 12 minutes to play in the fourth period. Short field for the Vikings. Vikings, uh, 11 through 44 will be a score. 35, that's going to be a score. Wouldn't have been, but on a short field it is. 52 is a touchdown pass. Joe Kep to 13 is John Henderson. Twenty-four to nothing, Minnesota. Time off the clock was five minutes, seven minutes to play. Twenty-four to nothing, Vikings have this game in hand. Joe Namath, forty-five to high to score. Thirty-six is another pass interception. Forty-six not returned for a touchdown. Time off the clock is three minutes, four minutes to play. Minnesota's ball on a short field. 46 is too high to score. 33 is a punt. Time off the clock is three and out. One minute. Here comes Mammoth in the offense. 56, too high to score. 43 is another pass interception. Not returned for a touchdown. And the time off the clock is two minutes, one minute to play. At this point, Minnesota just will run out the clock. Why not? Well, let's roll. And 32 would be a scoring drive. That's a field goal. Clock's 27 to nothing. And that's the ball game. Final score, Minnesota Vikings, 27, New York Jets, nothing. Vikings are the 1969 champions. They went into the game favored by 14 by two touchdowns they won by nearly four touchdowns we'll be back with a wrap up this would have been a devastating loss for the afl in their final game of their existence as it was they did win super bowl four behind the chiefs over the vikings this game was all minnesota and even though joe namath and the jets won super bowl three the afl was still not getting a lot of respect from the NFL. They uh, favor the Vikings going into Super Bowl IV over the Chiefs by about 14 points. And I tell you, in the AFL, Joe Namath became the hero of that league with that Super Bowl III victory. And I think that kind of protected him in games. Nobody wanted to hurt, hurt Namath. And I think some of the same thing is going on in the NFL today. Patrick Mahomes, some people think, is the face of the NFL, and I noticed in week one, the Browns uh, may have had a couple of chances to unload on him. They took it easy on him 
knowing that if they injure Mahomes, he's the face of the NFL. Not good for the league. Not much happened in the first first half. Field goal by Fred Cox with eight minutes to play in the first quarter. There was only one turnover in the first half, an interception against Joe Namath. And that seemed to be a theme in the second half. Namath threw up three interceptions in the second half, four for the game. I believe Minnesota picked off five passes in their... Yeah, they did. They picked off five passes off Craig Morton. So eight interceptions in the final two games for the Vikings. There were two touchdown passes, Joe Cap to Gene Washington and John Henderson, and Dave Osborne ran for the other touchdown. Vikings are the champions. That will conclude our look at Game Winning Drive Football. It can be found at downygames.com. And uh, you can get almost any season that's been played, including college football, decades of the 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, some CFL football is also available for this game. I like Game Winning Drive. It's not the most detailed game on the market, but it is pretty realistic. And uh, with the math involved, you could probably get out your calculator and figure out high school teams if you have uh, a site that gives um, high school stats. Um, the, the seasons are very economical. About 15 bucks or 13 dollars for some seasons. Um, I bought the Super Bowl edition, which gives you all the Super Bowl teams, and I bought the 69 season. Whatever your favorite season is, they have it, and it's very reasonable. You can also get it in PDF form, or which is cheaper, or they can send you the cards as you see here printed out. Actually, I don't know if it's, they do have it. Yeah, they can send you the. No, your own print, print out to see. Yes, if you buy the non PDF form, buy the board game form, uh, all the teams are printed out on cards. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and God bless.